I'm Suzanne Francis from Craftgate and today I have with me Denise Chalice, the sales representative in Western Australia for Singer, Faf and Husqvarna. Thank you for joining me Denise. You're welcome. And you're going to tell us about the new entry model Singer embroidery machine, the Futurama XL400. Yes. And now what are the special features about this machine? Okay, the, the Futura XL400 has only just been released. Right. Um, possibly about a week ago. Right, yes. And um, I'm very excited about this machine. It doubles up as a sewing machine and an embroidery machine. Currently we have the machine set up as an embroidery machine, but when you remove the embroidery unit, it takes it back to a standard sewing machine. Right. One of the nice features of the machine, um, as far as the sewing side of it goes, is you've actually got a much deeper C-section through here. Um, you've got approximately eight and a half inches by four and a half inches. So that will actually accommodate quilts as well. Yes, so if anybody's is... doing quilting, this will accommodate the, um, the quilt when you're doing when you roll it up. when it's rolled yes, up. Exactly. That's correct. The other um, interesting thing that Singer's done, and this is the only um, machine that I'm aware of, mm. or model that I'm aware of, is when you buy a, an embroidery machine, mm. you're actually paying for a computer within right. that embroidery machine to run the embroidery and that's, that's why the prices are so mm. expensive. What we've done is we've actually taken the embroidery, um, the computerised embroidery out of it right. and we've now got it on a, on a CD mm -hmm. so that um, most people have a computer at home and what we do is we give you the software CD, you install that onto your desktop or your laptop right. that you have at home and it's just like opening any program there's a connection via a printer cable from here to here. Mm -hmm. You do all your work on this big screen here, so we don't have... I have a little minuscule screen That's here, which right. often is very hard to look at and exactly. it jumbles around. Yes. yes. So we've got a nice big screen to work with. And when we finish doing what we need to do, we then send our design to our embroidery machine right. to sew out. So you've got more area to play with and, and more expanse to sort of do all your different things. Yes, that's And it's correct. easier on the eye, isn't it? Yes, yes that's right. Um, the machine itself comes with six Stay Bright LED lights, so there's mm -hmm. lots of lighting through here. Um, we have a unique threading system, it's called a Swift Smart right. threading system where the thread this just comes straight across here and straight down, there's no longer the need to go up and down and around because right. the take-up lever operates differently. Mm -hmm. So it makes threading very, very easy. Um, we have a needle threader on the side here and we all have also have a drop and sew bobbin system. So you just pop the bobbin in, take it through the track and cut it and there's no need to fish and bring right. the thread up to the top. And that avoids a lot of the bunching underneath, I believe, doesn't it? When yes. the threads start to tangle and you know how they all bunch underneath. That's right. Yes, yes, yes. exactly. Um, so there's some really nice features mm -hmm. on this machine and bear in mind that this is an entry level machine and you're really getting quite a lot of features that you yes. use. So you can cover a wide variety of sewing stitches, your That's quilting, right. your embroidering and your basic stitch work as well. Absolutely, yes. absolutely. So it's a machine you can actually grow into and start to develop more Definitely. of your techniques. Yes. yes. Um, and as far as growing into, now that you mention mm -hmm. it, the software program is a basic software program, but we do right. have quite a number of um, add-on software programs such as Cross Stitch, Photo Stitch, Hyperfont, Auto Punch, which is mm -hmm. a um, basic digitising program. And you can purchase those at any time and add them to the program right. so that you can actually choose to grow Yes. and experiment further when you're ready mm. to do and that. And the great thing is they're not all there, so they're not all hitting you in the face and absolutely bamboozling you to start off with. You That's start correct. off with the basics, yes. then gradually add as you start to learn more and gain your confidence as yes. well. That's yes, That's right. Um, with the software program, it comes with 120 built-in designs. Um, you obviously can purchase designs on CDs, uh -huh. which is really the way to go these days and um, you can bring those files into the software program and right. use those mm -hmm. as well. Providing they fit in the hoop, um, there's no mm. problems with mm. that. And of course, um, if they're just a little bit, bit too big for the hoops right. that we have, we have a resize function on here 
which when you make it smaller or larger will actually right. recalculate the number of stitches so that you'll assure of a perfect sew out every time. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's always, and it works very, very mm. well. In fact, it's such a smart program that if the design is too big for the hoop area here, right. and you go into the design, um, resize the design, it will mm -hmm. actually tell you what it needs to do to make it fit oh, inside, right. the, what size it needs to come down to. So the program does it all for you, there's no guesswork. So you're guided the whole way with your program? Absolutely, it's very, very Fantastic. easy to use. Um, we have two hoop sizes. We've got the large hoop, which is this size here, and we have a smaller hoop, which is this one here. The nice thing about this machine is the fact that we also have a multi-hooping feature. Right. So um, what you can do is bring a design onto the screen and ask, and if it is too big, it'll actually ask you if you'd like to do multi-hooping. Mm -hmm. Now, multi-hooping can actually consist of, if you imagine four hoops, Yes. you can do a design that big. Oh, right. Okay. Mm -hmm. What I've done here, I'll just pop that there for mm -hmm. a moment. I've got a little sample, and this is actually two hoopings. And this was the uh, Auto Punch software. Right. So this was actually a drawing which I've allow the program, the wizard, to actually digitise it all yes. for me. Mm -hmm. And if you imagine that that was one hooping there, there and, and that was a second hooping right. there. So you can actually produce very large embroidery designs. And it has successfully blended it. You really can't tell no, where, you can't. where the um, join is. That's right. It has, yes. it has lining up points that mm. you need to um, punch into the... Into the machine using these buttons down right. here and um, it lines it all up for you and it does a beautiful stitch yes okay and this is actually um, a very stiff interface mm -hmm. that I've that I've used so it does go through um, quite thick layers thick, as yes. well which is a nice thing to have mm -hmm. another little sample I've got here is the ability for the um, for the four hoopings and I've actually taken this design here and um, combined it four times and this is four hooping so right. if you imagine it through yes. there and divide that into four right. quadrants the other stitches in the middle here I've actually done with the sewing machine um, so you can imagine just how mm. you can actually make a design. So you can very effectively combine your embroidery stitches, just your basic ones off the machine, with your disc ones as well. That's yes. right, but you need to do the embroidery stitches um, separately Last. as sewing. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's, that's right. right. Yeah. Yeah. So there's lots and lots of different things mm. that we can do with this machine. Um, this is an example of our cross stitch program. How cute, yes. And once again this was a drawing which I've bought in and the wizard has actually a cross stitch for me right and you can select the size of the crosses mm. you know like two, two millimeter yes. crosses or right. whatever and I enlarged this so that it would fit in the hoop as well up the hoop space. so if we just yeah. push that against here you can you see, can see it. It, yeah. yeah so Good. it does do very mm. large designs um, the it's a little bit like if you think of it as um, this is your word document yes and yeah. you want to now print it mm -hmm. um, this becomes a printer except it's just needle and thread rather than ink and paper that's right yes yep. good conversion good way to sort of think about it that's yes. right yeah. yeah so I'll just do a very very mm -hmm. quick demonstration here I'm going to bring in a um, design and I'm going to come down to here so these are all your built-in designs right and I'm just going to take, um, I'll take this one here mm -hmm. and go OK. Generate the stitches. Mm -hmm. OK. Now what I want to do with this is I'm actually going to rotate this slightly. So I'm going to come up here, I can use my rotation handle mm -hmm. or I can actually go into the menu and use right. that feature but I'm actually going to use my rotation handle because I prefer to do that. And you'll see that it gives you an outline of where it's of, going to be of placed, where it's going yes. to be placed so that you know um, whether your rotation is going to go outside the mm. square or not, outside the hoop. So I'll accept that. Right. 
and it's just regenerating itself mm -hmm. again. And the next thing I'm going to do is just draw a box around it and I'm just going to move it down so right. that it touches the bottom edge of my... It can go as close to the edge that's as possible. That's right. Yes. So I'm just going to just roughly pop mm -hmm. that in there. I won't fuss too much with it. Right. So if I was to embroider mm -hmm. this out now, it would just be the one design. But I want to right. embroider this out four times with my multi-hooping system. So what I do then is I come over to create, uh, not big pardon, to design, and I go repeat design. And I would like to have two repeats across my page mm -hmm. uh, or across my right. fabric. Yep. And I'm going to do a side-to-side -side mirror image with this. Oh. Okay. Very easy. And click on OK. Mm -hmm. And it will come up shortly. There's quite a few stitches in this design, so it will take a while to generate them. And it's now asked me, um, said that with these two designs right. here, you're going to be too big for the current right. hoop. Would you like to multi-hoop? And I'm going to say yes. All right. Now, I'm not going to worry mm. about centering at this point because I want another two hoopings at the yes, bottom uh, here. Yes, underneath. Yes. yes. So I go back into my design. Mm -hmm repeat design and I would now like to vertically and I'd like to mirror image the one at the right. bottom. Whoops, we don't want three. Mm. We're going to mirror mm -hmm. image that one. And you've made a completely and different okay. design. Yes, yes, I have. Yeah. So it's just going to generate stitches mm -hmm. for that. Now, can you also play around with the colours on this and maybe you want to go into blues or something like that? And with every machine, you can yes. always change your colours, right. you know, yes. just by changing oh, your yes, thread. But, also on but the software program um, does include a number of different thread manufacturers. Right, yes. So that you can, um, say you only use one brand of thread, mm, mm. then you can actually set this up to only have that one brand of thread or you can access a whole range of different Right. manufacturers yes. threads. So we've got our design here and I'm just now going to go mm -hmm. to design and centre it and it's all ready to go. Oh fantastic, it's how that easy. Simple. That's yes. right. So in a matter of minutes you've made your own personalised design. Absolutely, yes. yes. Mm. Um, and then we have the option with our um, software where we can scan the size of the design. Right, yes. We can baste it into the hoop. Mm -hmm. um, there's lots of different things you can do. If you wanted to reorder the colours, which right. is probably not a good idea because mm -hmm. um, some colours are meant to be stitched before others because yes, others go over right. the top. Yeah. But you can actually reorder all your mm. colours here just by, if you click on it, Right. And it's going to, and then right click, it'll actually say reorder or delete. So if I actually oh. don't even want that colour, I can just delete it from the design. And, and put another one in. Yes, yes. that's yes. right. Um, so there's lots of different things you can do with it there. Um, so yeah, I mean, for as a an entry level mm -hmm. machine, very, very easy to oh, use. Oh, fantastic. Yes. yes. Uh, and the disc that comes with it, that would have all the instructions on it as it well. It does. Yes. It has a software program. It has built-in tutorials mm -hmm. that you can go through to get you started with the machine. Um, it has your 120 designs that come with the software right. program. Um, and as I mentioned, you can then add your additional programs if you particularly like doing cross stitch. I mean, if I'd done this cross stitch, it would have probably taken me six months. Oh, it took me about yeah. an hour. Yeah, isn't that fantastic? <laughs> and I'm happy with that. <laughs> I'm so there's no excuse not to decorate all your children's clothing. Get That's all right. your linen as well. All your yes. linen. Um, certainly, you can take purchased items like this is a purchased table mat, do some embroidery and, on it. And add and your own designs and, 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 and colourise your house. That's right. And have everything coordinated. Yeah. Exactly. Because often sometimes yeah. when you buy something, just a little bit of extra colour will help you blend it in with the rest of your um, decor. Exactly yes. right, yes. Yeah. And um, it just le lets you have that little personal touch exactly. to things. Exactly, yes. Yeah. Well, thank you, Denise. That's OK. Yeah, thank You're you welcome. for taking us through the process of introducing us to the Singer Futra. Yes. XL 400. Yes. And for further information, do refer to our website at Craftgate and we will give you more details about the machine. Thank you, Denise. Thank you.